Hi everyone, I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. Alright, I am super super excited because I am doing my next buy one journal for me and buy one to give away. It is so fun, these are an absolute blast to do, I'm so glad I've started doing this, it is just absolutely so much fun. And basically what I do is choose a junk journaler whose work I admire and am inspired by and that I just love. And so the person I am featuring in this video is Lorna Taylor, who some of you might know as Taylor Made Journals. And I only discovered her because one day she reached out to me after having watched one of my videos. Like I didn't know if she, I hadn't heard her name at all ever before until she contacted me. Um, and in one of my videos at the end I was just talking about how I was playing around with prices in my Etsy because lots of people had told me my prices were too low. Um, and just to cover materials and the work hours and everything, I was looking at raising prices but just wasn't sure what I was doing and looking for any advice. And so she contacted me out of the blue one day and was just like, hey, yeah, I've looked at your shop and um, your prices are too low. And she even gave me links to a whole bunch of other journal makers and their journals and showed me um, their prices and what I should do and she gave me so much advice about everything um, not just about this but um, digital kits and how she does things and uh, she was pretty much my inspiration for getting my digital kits in my shop with the postcards and the digital linens so I really have her to thank for all this so much for her encouragement I mean, who does that? Goes to that effort of even linking to other journals that are similar to mine and saying, hey, here's what these people are pricing theirs at. You can lift yours too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she had, did not have to go to all that effort to, you know, help me. And, you know, we were chatting back and forth, um, sharing about our lives even. And just, I was so thankful for her support and checked out her Etsy and her YouTube through all of this, of course. And her Etsy is just oh my gosh, there are so many digital kits and they are so massive and I don't know how she puts out so many, they're <laughs> incredible. Um, and I think lots of people know her because she's pretty big on Etsy with these kits and she also does make journals. Um, and I was lucky enough at the time when I discovered her, she had some journals in her shop um, and I checked them out on her YouTube and as soon as I saw these two journals, there was actually a bulk lot, but as soon as I saw this group of journals, I loved them. So I have seen other journals since then, and I have just loved her work. All her journals are really beautiful and such detailed work. And I asked her if she would be up for this giveaway where I get one for me, get one to give away, and promote her channel and Etsy. And she said, yep. So here we are. <laughs> Okay, and this has come a long way from Canada th by boat, <laughs> so it was the cheapest way to send it, and so I've been waiting for these, it feels like forever. <laughs> but I finally got them today, and I know I'm trialling out this new posting schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I might just get too excited and put this up straight away, <laughs> and I think you'll understand why. So um, it's been that long though that I actually don't remember too well which journal I got for me which one to give away so I might just open it up and I might change my mind anyway <laughs> we'll see what happens but I've got a note here she says thank you for your order and for your amazing support I hope you will love your new journal wish you all the best Lorna tailor-made journals ah I know I will love it straight away <laughs> all right so I love how she's presented these it's so beautiful um all right I don't know where to start. Hang on. So we get to do an unboxing together. So I'm just going to do these together. This is like a giant... Oh no, it's, a, it's an unfolded napkin. That's beautiful. great way of presenting it. See this is even giving me ideas and I love using the tissue paper. And these journals are actually bigger than I was expecting and quite a lot heftier because you can't always tell in photos and 
just on the camera. Okay, so I actually, yeah, even though I'm looking at it, I don't remember. They're very similar, so I'm not sure which one was the one I was going to get for me, and I'll just decide on the spot in this video, I reckon. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first one here, and then we've got this one over here. Okay. Now, I think it was this one that I was getting for me, but I could change my mind. <laughs> when we do a little flip through. Okay, let me have a look. Aren't they beautiful? Just look at how they're laid out. I love these covers. I love the papers. I think I was going for this one because it's a tiny bit more blue in the tone. And I love the lace pocket here. I love the lace that shines through or shows through here. I, I just love it. All right, so let me do a flip through of this one, which I think is my one. Because I love the script writing too, and the bit more delicate, you know, filigree type nature of it. And of course the blue tones. So, look at this, look, look at the lace. It's so pretty. And look at this wallpaper type of... It's beautiful. So her work is just beautiful, you'll see as we go through it. Just the details and things that she includes. Oh, I love that stamp. That is so cool. One day I'm, I'm going to get that stamp. That is awesome. And so she just packs things full bits of ephemera and just the pages she used and the details you'll see this is why I got these journals love the doily look at that paper got glassine bag decorated with some lace absolutely beautiful and got different pieces of ephemera look at that page This is so cool. I love it. So I was telling her I'd use this as a daily journal because it's already decorate, decorated and beautiful. That I won't need to add anything and I'd probably just use it for straight writing. Who knows if I will end up doing that. Because <laughs> I always change my mind. But look at this. Gorgeous tag. And yeah, just lots of fun bits and pieces. Flip out there. Just love the pages. It's just so beautiful. Pocket here. Postcard. So I'm so glad to have something from her. Look at this, this is so cool. Love that tag that she's made. Super inspiring, I want to try doing things like that. And cool ledger paper with the lace journal card. Hey, that's like what I do with the botanical cards. <laughs> so there's still lots of writing space, but all of this interest, oh, oh my gosh, we actually have a real postcard that is massive postcard that's awesome and then just all these fun surprises throughout so it's interesting this gorgeous music paper I love how she's clipped in this that's so cool oh I love that stamp too an envelope, that's cute, tag, absolutely amazing isn't it, look at it, oh that's cool, stamping, oh I love it, so interesting, Oh, I love those chandeliers. I love the botanical pages. Paper clipped in.
more pieces. That's so cool. Oh, there's stamps in here. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Flip out. Oh, <laughs> that's one of those ones. Opens up there. That's so cool. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Your booklet. And I love this clip here. Giant tag. Oh, <laughs> it's like a notebook tag. How cool is that? That paper is amazing. So yes, that is absolutely beautiful. And then I'll do a flip through of this one. Gorgeous wallpaper as well. So I'm pretty sure they're very similar. I'll just show you all the different things in it. Oh, that's one of the flip tag thingies. That's a cool page. Cool tag there. Different pieces. giant postcard same bits and pieces look at that gorgeous pocket I love pockets filled with stuff like that <laughs> Journal card, pictures here, flip out, large flip out. So yeah, I'm thinking they're pretty much the same type of layout, just different pages. get the stamps as well. That's such a cute idea. I love that. Little tag. That's so pretty. So if you're anything like me, you are loving these journals and you would love to have one too. <laughs> and how pretty is this? And you can have the chance to win one of these journals. So all you need to do is be a subscriber, like this video and leave a comment once you've done two things. Um, I will link below Taylor May Journals YouTube and her Etsy so you've got to visit both of those and you've got to watch at least one of her videos and leave a comment on one of her videos and if you can mention that um, you were sent over there by me that would be awesome so I could find it as well um, and also go to her Etsy have a look around see if there's anything you like um, favorite her shop if you do like it um, and then come back to this video right here and leave a comment letting me know which video you commented on since watching this video. So you may have been following her for ages and already commented on lots of her videos but since watching this video comment on a different video you can go back as far as you want in her videos and let me know the title of the video so that I can go check your comment and I just love reading your comments and this is all about you know giving her support and letting her you know wake up in the morning and she's got a whole bunch of new fun comments to read um, and yeah, also let me know which item from her Etsy you like most. 
just give me the title. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a way for me to introduce you guys to a junk journalist work who I absolutely love. It's just so beautiful. And I'm so honored to have a piece of her um, creativity. Um, and I am really excited to be able to share one of her journals with you. Um, I, I'm still not sure which one actually. I'm gonna like I'm gonna sit with it for a while if that's okay with you guys and just let the journal speak to me um, about which one is resonating with my heart and soul the most if that makes any sense but one person will get one of these journals um, and there will be twins <laughs> journal twins um, yeah so I may even I don't know take out like swap a few of the cards for the one that speaks to me if that makes any sense <laughs> um, but yeah they are both so beautiful I love them both I'm just going to it's like choosing a name for an app for a pet <laughs> for my cat um, you just gotta wait a while sometimes to find which one is resonating most um, anyway so yeah it's all about just introducing you to a junk journaler whose work I adore and saying hey here they are you go check them out if you like what they do go subscribe to them and follow them and favorite their shop if not totally fine you know doesn't matter at all it's just a chance for me to introduce you guys and um yeah if you do that would be great if you do did support her and everything uh, i'm sure she would absolutely appreciate it and yeah this is just my joy um you know introducing you guys to her and um let me know what you think of her work <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful when you get your journal you'll see just how great it is how good it feels in the hands you know how some journals they just feel really nice in the hands just that soft cover journal i think i really like soft cover journals because they can mold and bend it's great so yeah they're, they're awesome i love them <laughs> um, I think that's all I'll leave all of the information for how to enter in the description box below um, it will probably stay open for one week and then at the end of the week I'll announce the winner of one of these journals so I hope you like them as much as I do I'm gonna have a hard time choosing which one I just love them both so much um, which is always a good sign when you um, like a journal makers work that much so um yeah thank you guys for watching and go check her out and thank you so much Lorna for being part of this and just for all your help and advice and just everything I am so amazed and thankful <laughs> so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you later bye